Hey, Jay here, and welcome to my pumpkin tutorial part two. In this section of the tutorial, we will cover how to apply paper clay to our pumpkin. The supplies you will need for this step are paper clay, bowl of water, spoon, metal sculpting tools, an X-Acto knife, and some type of plastic sheet. Applying the clay to your pumpkin is one of the most rewarding parts of this project. This is where you will really add all the detail to your project, and this is where your project will come to life. We're going to add clay to the entire pumpkin and create its face in one step. Find a bowl or an empty coffee can like I have here so you can turn your pumpkin over and start from the bottom. I always start from the bottom. Take a handful of clay, smash it out kind of like a hamburger patty, and apply it to the bottom of your pumpkin. Now using either the palm of your hand or the handle of a spoon, start to spread the clay over the pumpkin. Take note, you will need your hand or the spoon to be wet to keep the clay from sticking. As you apply the clay, keep the pumpkin shape in your mind. You may need to bulk up different parts to make it look a little more natural. Also, don't be afraid to apply the clay thick. I've applied clay over half an inch thick and never had problems. Once the bottom of the pumpkin is covered and you've gone down the sides a little, turn your pumpkin over and set it straight down on your plastic sheet. That's right, you're going to smash your wet clay right down on the plastic sheet. But this creates a nice flat surface on the bottom of your pumpkin, and once this surface dries, your pumpkin will set on any flat surface and won't be wobbly. Now you're going to start at the top right next to the stem and start applying the clay. You will want to roll your clay into a hot dog type of shape and lay it next to the stem, then start to work out the edges. This will make the top of your pumpkin a little more defined. As you work away from the stem, be sure to widen your clay out so it matches up with the flow of the armature you've created.
And now that you've covered the top, it's time to clay the sides so that you can blend the top and the bottom together. When you're blending clay together, it helps to use a little water. You should be able to work the clay together until there is no longer a separation line between the two pieces of clay. If you're looking for a really smooth surface, use the handle of your spoon with a little water. I have found that this simple household tool does the best job when creating a very smooth surface. Just keep working your way around the pumpkin one section at a time until you've completely covered the pumpkin. There we go, look at that. We have one very realistic looking pumpkin on our hands. Now, time for the really good stuff. Look your pumpkin over. Look for that spot that just screams, put the face here. Take your X-Acto knife and lightly start drawing your face into the clay. I usually start with the eyes. Once you have a nice outline and you like the way it looks, it's time to go over it again, digging deeper. But if you don't like the way the outline looks, or if you messed up, you can simply erase it by putting a little water on your finger and rub the clay back together. As you dig deeper with the knife, keep in mind, you're not going to cut through the paper mache base. In this step, you're going to just cut through the clay and remove each section from the pumpkin. Once you have a good deep outline, you're going to use some of the small sculpting tools to remove the clay. As you start removing the clay, keep working the edges. Make sure you have a good separation. If you don't, when you pull on the clay to remove it, you'll distort what you're working on.
Once all the clay is removed, take a flat bladed tool and clean up all the edges. Great, look at that. This one mean looking pumpkin coming to life. The last thing you're going to clay is the stem. You can clay it now, or you can wait for your pumpkin to dry first. But it'll take a good 24 hours under a fan for this to dry and cure. After 24 hours, you can pick the pumpkin up, then set it on its side so that the bottom will dry. Once it's covered, take a sculpting knife and run random squiggly lines up and down the stem. Personally, I think this makes for the best looking stem. Okay, your pumpkin is now set for a day or two, and it's now dry enough to work with. First, we're going to unstuff the pumpkin. Find something nice and round in shape. I have found that a coffee can lid works great. Place it on the bottom of your pumpkin and trace a line around it. Next, and be very careful here so you don't cut yourself, take your X-Acto knife and slowly start cutting along the line. Go around fully once then do it again digging deeper this time. Do this until you've cut deep enough to pull this piece from your pumpkin. Now, cut away any tape or bag that you see, reach in and start pulling out the paper. Once all the paper is out, you should be able to reach in and easily pull out the plastic wrap. If you did the plastic wrap step, you should also be left with a very clean looking inside. The 
last and final step in this part is to cut away the eyes and mouth. Take your X-Acto knife and just follow the edge of your clay and cut away the strip mache. Now you're ready for the last step, paint and details. I'll see you there.